By the end of May 1999, the Indian Army realized that clearing out numerous Pakistani bunkers located high up in the Kargil Hill and its surrounding areas needs intense aerial bombardment. The Indian Air Force responded to the situation by sending in their fighter planes like the MiG-27 and the MiG-21 to bomb the hilltops occupied by the Pakistanis. But in spite of repeated bombings, many of the Pakistani bunkers were still intact. The IAF realized their bombing was deadly, but not accurate. This has to be fixed because the Indian Army has estimated that it will take about 200 soldiers to clear out each bunker. In this video, we will examine how the Indian Air Force deployed the laser-guided bombs to clear out the Pakistani bunkers and capture the strategic Tiger Hill. By the end of April 1999, more than 5,000 Pakistani Army regulars disguised as militants occupied the hilltop of Kargil and adjacent peaks. These peaks were vacated by the Indian Army in the previous winter to be occupied again in summer. But this year, when the Indian Army soldiers returned to their post, they came under fire from the Pakistan Army. On May 5th, five Indian soldiers on their patrol were captured and subsequently killed. The Pakistanis set up bunkers and defended it using mission guns, anti-aircraft guns and man pads like the Stinger. The Indian Army launched Operation Vijay. This started with heavy shelling of Pakistani bunkers using the 155mm Bofors gun. The Indian Air Force using their MiG-27 and MiG-21 began heavy aerial bombardment of Pakistani positions. The IAF mainly used unguided dump bombs which did not have much impact on the Pakistani positions. Also, the IAF aircrafts came under heavy anti-aircraft fire. One MiG-27 aircraft was shot down. The IAF realized position bombing was needed, but the IAF had still not acquired that capability yet. Just before the war, India purchased 15 lightning points from Israel, 10 to be fitted to the Jaguars and 5 to the Mirage 2000. So how does it work? The lightning pods work in conjunction with the Paveway 2 bomb supplied by the United States before the war. Paveway 2 bomb has a laser seeker and fins. The lightning pod emits an invisible laser towards the target. This is called laser painting of the target. The aircraft will have to fly at a minimum of 1000 km per hour at the time of releasing the bomb. The bomb will start to glide, adjusting its path using its fins towards the laser painted target. The aircraft will have to hold on, focusing on the target till the bomb hits. But Kargil is a mountainous terrain with an average elevation of more than 11,000 feet with heavy cold winds blowing. Will this bomb work in these conditions? By the end of May 1999, the Indian Army began focusing on taking Tiger Hill, a strategic peak, having an elevation of 6,600 feet. Tiger Hill overlooked the NH-1 highway and was heavily defended by the Pakistanis. Tiger Hill helped the Pakistanis to direct artillery fire on the NH-1 highway and cut off India's access to the Siachen. Tiger Hill needs to be taken. Previous attempts by the Indian Army to take the hill failed. The Indian Air Force was now tasked with a mission to accurately hit the enemy positions on the hill before the army could move in for the kill. Tiger Hill had around 9 Arctic tents and about 40 Pakistani soldiers were guarding their position. On 24 June 1999, at an Air Force base in Adampur, two Mirage 2000 planes were loaded with Paveway 2 bombs. The Mirages then took off from their base and headed to Tiger Hill. After about 35 minutes, the IF pilot spotted the Pakistani tents on Tiger Hill. At 28 kilometers from the target, at an altitude of 28,000 feet, the pilot beamed the laser on the target. Flying at 1,000 km per hour, the bomb was released. The bomb glided down, adjusting its path to the laser-painted target. After about 30 seconds, the bomb exploded on hitting the target. The explosion was captured on video and it confirmed the destruction of the target. In the following days, four more laser-guided bombs were dropped on Tiger Hill and adjacent targets. The bombing severely weakened the Pakistani army's resolve to hold on. The Indian army captured Tiger Hill on 8 July 1999. The use of laser-guided bombs is historic as it's the first time the Indian Air Force used it in battle. This achievement would not have been possible without the generous help from Israel. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.